What's happening, everybody? Some more thunder again. I've got the M3 Lee here, arcade match, Poland. And this is the second tank I pulled out. The first one got annihilated early on. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and drive down Main Street, basically, and help my teammates uh, cap these uh, two northern flags. And uh, some crazy times happen coming up here. Anyway, so yeah, this is Arcade. Uh, I haven't really done too much of it lately, but I get back into it every now and then just so I can play can you know constantly so here's the first conflict going after a mark IV. seems like most of the initial tanks I run into are German but uh, I totally forget all of my uh, real my realistic uh, training realistic battle training trying to shoot for the weak spots on the tank I just shoot for the green because in arcade it tells you, you know, when when you can hit and when it should be able to hit, penetrate, whatever. And then uh, you get the silhouettes so you can tell that the tank is in cover or out of cover. But uh, so far I survived that initial onslaught and the, the ar artillery being dropped on my head. <laughs> go for the next kill. There we go. Was that like a T-50, T-60 tank? Something like that, maybe? Engine on the right side, turret on the left side. What a weird setup. I mean, the Lee is kind of oddball, too, but that tank just... I don't know who the heck designed it. It was a goofy design. So here we got a little bit of a longer, longer distance fight. Going up against a T28. And it's funny because the Lee, I don't know, it, you know, on PlayStation 4, it's the 75 and the 37 are linked, unless you separate them with different buttons. So you'll see, like, the 37 will go straight at it, and the 75 will kind of fall. It'll it'll dive down real quick. It doesn't have that good of a velocity to keep it going on a good arc. Yeah, I put a bunch of rounds into this guy and just can't seem to pen the right spots on him. And, yeah, I, I'm just praying for a crit or something at this point. I just don't have the angle on him. And, uh, you know, I'm just not aiming at the right spot. So he tracks me here. Might as well drop some artery on my head just to make it more interesting. Yeah, my, uh, my X button's getting pretty sticky. I don't know, I gotta pull it apart and see if the spring needs to be fixed or replaced. But, uh, I, you know, I'm, I kinda like the, the controls on the ground war so far with this game. Uh, the artillery is a little bit tricky, you have to use like three fingers in order to be able to pull it up. I gotta re, probably rebind some of the keys so it'll be just like a one button, button push or two button push. Or a combo where I can use just two fingers on two different button buttons to get it going. But, I don't know, I just get too lazy. I always jump right in. Or I try and do it in the lobby, uh, or in the, in the hangar when I'm queuing up for a battle. And right when I go to get there and I go to save it, it puts me right into the battle. So it doesn't save. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like, there we go. I finally got him. Yeah, I was praying for hits, praying for hits. Praying for uh, a pen and, and a crit. Moving up. Because I think I scared that guy back into cover a bit. But yeah, I, I just can't believe how much damage this tank has taken so far. And all I've done is gotten tracked. And there's another poor aim. That's the only thing I haven't gotten used to yet, is when you're on the move and you go to stop. I can't do the snapshots yet, but there's one. I don't know how that worked. I mean, it looked like it was trailing off behind him. It would have went over behind him. So he's sitting there. He's stuck. And I always hate that noise. 
that whistling noise coming overhead. You just don't know if it's for you or somebody else near you. Going after this guy. So now I finally realize, oh yeah, I gotta shoot for the driver's hatch. But that guy pulled away before I could get to it. So I'm gonna try and call some arty on his head here. I think I get kinda close. Freaking <laughs> Mark III comes flying around the corner. He's going the wrong way. He's lucky somebody behind him didn't get a shot off at that engine. Got a Mark IV here. I have, there's no way I can do anything to this guy. He's too far away from me. I'm surprised too that he didn't he didn't get any good hits on me. Here we go. And didn't do a damn thing. Yeah, just poor aiming on my part here. Just spraying at the target. And I see a Sturmic shit, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Because that thing will annihilate me if I if he gets a good hit. Yeah, I can't believe it. I, so there's an assist. And pull up some more arty over in that general vicinity. But yeah, I, I can't believe that I haven't been killed yet. Only been maimed. So here we go. Aiming at the gunner's hatch. I mean the driver's hatch. There's a kill. One hit. Well, two hits, but... And this guy, I'm trying to hit his door. I just can't aim, aim low enough, and my gunner just doesn't seem to be accurate on this tank. Of course, I haven't upgraded any of their shit, so... Come on, there we go. In, right in, but not a whole lot of damage. Trying to do the same thing on the Stug. I just can't get the, get the shot to drop in there. He backs off. I think he got wise to what I was trying to pull off. Another T28. These things are beastly in arcade. Oh, tracked again. Second time, same track. <laughs> Oh, uh, pull up some arty. Let's see if I can get him to bug out. What? I just can't get any good hits on this guy. He's at a good uh, oblique angle to me, so his armor is going to be a bit thicker. Even though I somehow managed to go through that machine gun turret. Alright, oh, yeah. Light tank, you're dead. Or not. If I can hit you, come on. There we go. That's about it. Wow, look at that. Pulled out a win and survived. See ya.